OK, everybody, I'm going to give you two introductions. Firstly, either if you're with me for the last hour, then welcome back. Lovely to have your company. If you're watching now and thinking it's the launch of another one-day special, because that's at 6 o'clock, welcome. <laughs> you missed an hour, but welcome, because actually, I'll tell you why, it's a double launch uh, from uh, what we've got for you, which is a brilliant one-day special. It is fantastic, and it is really, really busy for a complete collection, which, honestly, if you are just joining us, there is so much in this complete package and with the one-day special that uh, it's a great hour, again, to learn more ways of getting the most that you possibly can from the actual equipment you've got here with your dice. It's brilliant. Now, um, it's, uh, well, it's basically, it's, 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 it's the neighbour. It's the noisy neighbour. <laughs> it's our friend John. John next door. Hello. 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 Officially, welcome to this hour, or good to be back again after the first hour we had. It together. is. It's good to be back again. It feels like ages. It does, doesn't yes. it? I'll tell you what we do. I like it so much. We'll do this again at eight. I think that's an even better oh, idea. I love it, honestly. Um, everyone's like that. They can't wait to have people back in the house again just so they don't have the new Anton deck for Saturday <laughs> night back on your screens. <laughs> it's, it's lovely. Uh, or, as I've just heard, more like the two Roddies. Um, uh, either way, we'll take it as a compliment. John, um, we were talking about this in the last hour, but for those that are joining us, We'll yeah. go back over the, the basics of what we're going to get because when we come to innovation, and if you do get a chance to watch back on the first hour, if you did miss it, one thing we were talking about is, and John's very passionate about this, and it comes from his background about really maximising all the tools, whatever tools they are, is really maximising the most out of those. And so they don't just do one thing, they do a lot more. And this, in what you're going to see in the one day special, takes what you might think about a lovely background stamp in itself, but you've taken it on another stage. Just tell us a little bit more That's about exactly those. what I wanted to do. So you can see here with these two samples, you've got a beautiful, to me, I mean, I, I would say that and I rarely say it about mine, you've got a beautiful collage stamp there with butterflies intertwined with the immortal beloved. Yes. Um, which is that beautiful... And just talk to us about that, because you mentioned that in the last hour, because I think that's a fascinating... It what is. ..what you've used. Yeah, it's Immortal Beloved, which I believe is... I'm, I'm going to get this wrong, so, so don't come on to me. It is Beethoven. Yes. yes. <laughs> Every time I get it wrong. It, it's my friend Mrs Duck's favourite, and she gave it me years ago, and it's Immortal Beloved. Right. ..which is a letter that Beethoven wrote to his beloved or you know, whoever it was, and it, it was never sent and it was found when he died. Wow. And it was wow. an absolutely beautiful, beautiful letter. Wow. And the wording in it is just so nice. So I've used that in here. I've actually used it in the past, but this is the clearest sort of ever one I've used it in the butterfly. Right, so right. if you look carefully, and that's why we've had the stamps themselves made in the UK, yeah. and we are marrying them together with the dies in the warehouse right. to get it together for you. But you can actually, you'll actually see in there, you've got the immortal beloved, You've got oh, all of beautiful. the words that he used, the whole thing. But the idea was, yes, lovely, nice collage stamp. But people know I've done my stamp and die combinations before. Right. Yeah. And what you do is you stamp one stamp, gives you lots of flowers, lay the die over with the corners, and that will give you the, um, the clipped idea or the, the clipped look from it. Yeah. Love it. But what I've done this it. time is there if I've given you a background stamp. So here we've got... A nice background stamp with the text, with the sort of cross hatching over it, the little circles. Mm. I've arranged it all out. But you see butterflies in there and they're all floating. They're not that obvious in your face. Mm -hmm. No, no, no. But the die has been designed exactly to fit over and pick out those bits. So can you see now you've got all those individual right. butterflies that will cut out? So, I love I the fact that they are all individual and different. They're all individual, well. each one is different. Yeah. But I bring this one in, you can see now how I've been able, there we go, to make, cut these out individually and mount, mounted them on. That, that's brilliant. Yeah, so it's a three in one, a background stamp. Yeah. A die that cuts your butterflies, but use them together and you've got beautiful stamped butterflies as well um, I so think it shows it. on your board so if I bring this one in this is this is a better way to show it you get all of these which actually look like you've bought them yeah they do to me yeah yeah especially dark these look pieces. like you've bought them certainly when you've got them in the foil but if you do them in your embossing powders or your paints and oh, your colors yeah. you've got all of those seven within there that's the that's the butterfly love that but then I thought I'll do it again with a flower <laughs> perfect so, again, this is a different one. You've got the same sort of text, but it's a different font, and it's scratchier through it. 
Shall I put this the right way up for... for go um, on, go yeah, on. Paul, uh, Paul Marcus, I'll make him change everything. Um, it's got the same... But this time it's got wood grain in it, it's got scratching and it's got the flowers on. But those flowers cut out to make you these 3D flowers that are used on here. Right, yes. So you've got, within that bundle, you've got the two stamps and the two dies, but they're three in one. So to me, I've got six products in there. Yeah. And endless possibilities. Which is when we talked about, you know, getting most for your money out of all of that, which, which is phenomenal. Um, can I just very quickly just show a couple of examples um, that uh, we're looking at here with what we're going to get for the one-day special. We'll come on to the bundle in a second. By the way, anything you do get, by the way, when you go for the one-day special, the complete bundle, we are in extended delivery. Uh, 26th, if I remember rightly, uh, of March is where we're looking at. Obviously, we're all aware of... Things have to be, uh, you know, imported in, etc., and, uh, and the tri trickiness that, that comes with that. So we are looking at the 26th of March for you um, for uh, extended delivery for those. Uh, I just want to show you a couple, though, just to sort of the butterflies and the florals, how they can be worked in different ways. Um, and I just think this is brilliant because it really does to show, you know, that even whether there be the butterflies cut out on their own, uh, whether it's actually the the backgrounds again, the background stamped being used, losing them individually. I mean, they're, they're beautiful butterflies, as you can see. It's a lovely piece that absolutely gorgeous that I'm, I'm really really loving that the butterflies individually just look how different though that background stamp works as well done in that different color but that really pretty again so as a background and works I as really a love background that again, stamp it works on its own yeah, it's something it does. that I I feel and it I feel I would buy that oh yeah you know I feel I would buy that background stamp because I just think it's so pretty but you wouldn't think there's a die to go with that it's just a, no. a nice background stamp and what Mrs Duck's done is just stamped it in two colors of green ink but if you can see you know she's repeated it because it's designed so that you can, you can join it together around. it doesn't have to just be a six but then to think that those butterflies have come from that exact from that stamp, stamp which is yeah. again if you're looking for continuity in the whole of your project as well to work with but equally when they're on their own, if you were to work with just thinking, oh, I just need some butterfly stamps and to be, to be die cut, this works beautifully just taking it from there it as well. It does, yeah. So you've cut them out and just mounted them up. But, you know, I don't know, I've never seen dies that cut such fine butterflies no. as those. Uh, you, I could you, be wrong, but that's, you know, I was really shocked when that worked. You, you, you did mention that as well from the, uh, from the uh, again, just to show you again a little, a little more examples of how this will work. So, absolutely phenomenal. This one day special has a £5 saving on this. Item code 3409193898. Now, we also have a second bundle. Now, it'll take, and you'll see how this connects because it takes everything we talked about with the butterflies, and now we're working with the butterflies with the Art Deco period. So you're looking at your framing on here itself, uh, which is absolutely stunning, plus then you've got all those other, the smaller butterflies to work with that, plus you've also got the large butterfly dies. Now, they all work really nicely together as well, which is phenomenal. 18 dies in total that you're looking at there as well. Uh, 616889 uh, for this. It's uh, again on Flexi at 1999 if you would like to go for those. Um, should we just very quickly chat around about yep. this, this complete collection? So, again, what you've got in here is you've got the large deco butterfly, and for every butterfly in this set where you have a fancy, yeah. as I would call it, yeah. you have a backer for it that is exactly the same size. Right. So it isn't just using the metal around it and making it bigger. No. You don't get that rim. It is exactly the same size so that it goes all the way over because it, I just don't like it when it, that's beautifully coloured. I'm going to show this in the first demo. Right, OK. But it's beautifully coloured, but then you see a, an edge of it all the way round. Yeah, yeah. So you've got the large deco butterfly with the dream and love art deco words. You've got the frame, and the frame comes with these. I should take that die off. Your frame comes with the two deco butterflies in each corner, then one plane which is exactly the same size, yeah, as those, so that you can put a different colour behind. I see. There or we are. you could put the ombre glitter card behind each of those and have a plain frame. Right. Or oh, when yeah. you paper piece, you you might you might want to paper piece the frame, but not paper piece those. I wouldn't want to paper piece those. Mm. It's too complex. It's a lot. You can put that in separately. Got you. There's so much more you can do. And then the individual butterflies, you get four Art Deco again scaled. They they're not. It's not just shrunk, they've been scaled down no, so I that see. they work as individual butterflies rather than just take it down by 10%. Got you. I've not done that, I've done it manually. You've got a solid for each of those, but then, because there's extra metal, you get four spares. One that size, one that size, and two that size, but I've lost it. 
<laughs> already. I mean, he's very honest. He's very honest. I'm not going to lie, I've lost it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's been said before. That's why I do things on plates usually, but these it wouldn't work that way. And I thought, I'm not going to miss out those extra butterflies that no, we could no, use no. the metal for. No. You might as well have it. You're paying for it. Yeah, yeah, You're absolutely. You're paying for all the metal it comes out of, so I'd rather the customer have it than it, it just go down the drain. Yeah, well, yeah, we don't want that. We don't want that. Uh, so, 18 dies in total, as explained from John that you just seen there. Uh, there's also a £5 saving on that complete collection where you're looking at are those are the, uh, the sweets that are there for you. The, nine, the 18 dies. 616 nine again also available on your flexi now you may have heard mention there the ombre of the uh, non-shed glitter cards and it is absolutely beautiful now we've got two options uh, that we're looking at here let's start off then with the a4 collection for you going to see you can see here uh, and these are absolutely beautiful and they are so wonderfully smooth but that ombre those lovely different uh, blend of those colors going through is absolutely Gorgeous, it really is. Now, you're actually going to be getting two packs of the A4. Now, these are 250 uh, GSM, uh, or these ones. So, again, these are sort of these are your cardstock that you're working with. Six designs, you're going to get two of each. So, in total, 24 sheets is what you're going to be getting. Uh, 13 99 675906. And then, before we give uh, uh, John a chance to talk about these, we've also got the option which is of your 12 by 12. We know John's a big fan of the 12 by 12s, uh, but I can tell you what this has been a lot of interest on the 12. If you love your 12 by 12 papers, honestly, you're not going to see a sparklier or more beautiful with the ombre uh, collection anywhere else. Over 20% of the stock has already gone. Now, if you are going to go for the complete collection, what's the complete collection, Scott? I'll tell you in a second. Uh, but if you want to get already another, and I'm just talking to myself, uh, if you want to get another 12 by 12 to go with it, because you know you like one to look at, you know you do, uh, 1499 030 633. Uh, John, the, a, uh, the A4 and the 12 by 12s, uh, these are, I've not seen a more pretty and beautiful I, paper. I bag. genuinely haven't. I mean, who would think that you could go from an aqua blue into a pink? Mm. Who would think you would go like aqua blue into a pink? It's because it's actually all done on a silver base. It's so clever how they make this. I mean, I could spend, you know me, I'm so dull, I could spend hours explaining how it's done. <laughs> You're but I'm not, not dull, going but to, yes, but it's you a could. beautiful foil. And it's just the colours. I mean, again, that green to almost a mint. But that red to a gold going through an orange, it looks like flames. It's so beautiful. It's non-shed, it cuts easily. 190 GSM on the paper, 250 on the card. So 190 GSM on the 12 by 12. But again, this will cut through your Cricut, your silhouette. Right. Um, presume you scan and cut whatever electric machine is. We've tested it on the Cricut and the silhouette. Right. And we'll get intricate cuts. Sam's actually cut and I should have brought them. He, he did a birthday banner with it to oh, go on a cake wow. oh, and even wow, though it's 190 wow. it was a little bit wobbly it still looked amazing and because this is non-shed it's not what we'd say certified food safe but no. it is okay you can stick this in your cupcakes um you know pepper in a penny because it's not going to shed anything off right i see it's just okay. I could spend a whole hour just talking about well, this, look, to be I, honest. Let's, let's, let's cut to the chase very quickly just to show how this looks when you've actually made some of your, your, your pieces for you as well. Because as you can see, that ombre, those lovely different tones coming through, when you start to layer them up and work with them that, I mean, they really do give you a fantastic effect. I mean, you can see... That how they... screams Art Deco to that me. Is, that it is, really that does. really does. The colour mix of the green into the blue. But that was actually all made with less than one sheet of the 12 by 12. Uh, really? That entire card is less than one full sheet of the 12 by 12. And look at the effects you get. Look, if you love your making, look at this. This is so pretty and so beautiful. I mean, per, I look for that winter feel, if you were yeah. working on that. It, Wait, it, it for does Christmas, that. it's going to be beautiful for but Christmas. look at that when you really start thinking of that with the warmer colours to come through. 1499 uh, 030633. Now, um, Scott, you shouted out a second ago, what is the complete collection? I told you, it's all going to become very, very clear. We talked about the one-day special. That's got a £5 saving. We've got the Art Deco Butterfly Collection. That's a £5 saving. What we've done is we've put everything together, including the ombre, the card that you're going to be getting there, and the Art Deco, and the one-day special. We carry those savings over, but there's an additional saving on top of that at £12. So, actually, if you're a Freedom member, £31. Uh, £31.59? 
Uh, is it a bit more than that? You own a £31.59 saving on there if you're a Freedom member. Absolutely brilliant. Actually, it's going to be just around about £22 saving if you are looking at this as your regular price. Uh, usual from over £100 down to under. It is now... Uh, three payments if you're going on your flexi of 3198 782 730. I've just had an update. What was the update? Oh, wow. 40%. <laughs> wow. 40% of the entire collection has now already been allocated on these ones. So 40, 40. <laughs> 40% <laughs> of the stock has gone. 40%, John. Yeah, I, and it was one of the deepest stocks. Huge. that we've ever put on because we had such success and people really loved the Mandala limited edition because the Mayfield dice sold out completely and I'm please please it has gone please stop asking me I'm oh, sorry guys oh really uh, because once they've sold out 90% of John next door collections are not reordered we like to do it let everybody get you who wants it and move on Got you. yeah okay so for this for the big collection we put I think the largest stock that we've ever committed to Hachanda. Well, what I'll this. say is, John, I don't think it was enough. Uh, because <laughs> uh, it's, it's flying out. But this is the man that brought you the weekend wow that lasted 14 minutes. Uh, <laughs> 782 730 9593. Uh, I will say, and let's be honest about this, you might be thinking, well, that it, it is a purchase. It's a considerable purchase when we think about uh, uh, But when you hear again of how much you're going to use these in lots of different ways, I think you'll agree you're getting a lot of bang for your buck. Uh, go for that one. Uh, do go for the entire collection. It's very, very busy. And get the extra paper pad as well. Uh, oh, my favourite. I love these. The Craft Artist Dawn Pigment Petal Ink Pad Large and Small Blending Brushes. Uh, 2397. Now, 959298. Uh, now, these, with regards to the actual, the petal ink pad, uh, John, just give me a little bit of voiceover on this a second, um, because these are on earlier on. Yes. The, and they flew out. The petal ink pad launched today. This is brand new pearl petal ink pad. So this isn't one of the first five that we launched last year. This is the first colour range that we've launched this year and launched this morning. Um, absolutely beautiful. And the brushes, this is the first time we've had the brushes back oh. since you last rubbed your head with it. Oh, really? We sold out there. Oh. That was seven months ago, and we've, it's taken us seven months to bring them back. I love them. Because, obviously, we want to bring them back at the same Left price and everything else. And I know, as soon as I said, oh, Scott's just... doing the show, Sam went, Is, you're going to have to get... Um, you're going to have to get one of the brushes for Scott to just rub on his just, head. I love it. I could go to sleep just doing that. It, they're just beautiful. They're so soft. Thousands of bristles. I'm going to bring out a DVD of that, video, that image you've got right there because I reckon people enjoy watching me. Just you think do people, that. Yeah, it would make people fall asleep. I think exactly. That's not the first time people have said that about me on Beyond TV. Um, <laughs> now, then, if you want to go for this one, do take advantage. We've got all the different bundles available for you as well. So, here in this bundle, you're going to be getting five brushes. Hey. Five brushes, plus you're also going to be getting your beautiful inks to go with that as well. That's bundle number one, 2397. That's 959298. Bundle number two is ten brushes. Ten brushes and the roll. My assistant has. John's got, I've got it. I've got mine. Oh, so it's you? that. <laughs> And mine have sat in here for so, seven months. So that's how I love the roll. But yeah, so there's you, a, you only get the roll, ten... you don't get all my brushes. No, you don't. You no, get you don't ten want brushes them. and the roll. Oh, it will take more. It will take more, won't it? It will so take more. So you're going to get ten, you're going to get a couple of uh, spaces clear as well. Because I've got a couple of extra spare. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I've got thirteen in here because I've got an extra set of the larger ones because I use those more. Oh, OK. I bought myself an extra set of that size. So that's what you would get. And then I added two more in. So but they you... stayed in here for seven months and not damaged. And you know how I throw my case about. I've seen it. Yeah. It's vicious. <laughs> it's They've vicious. just been like that. But that's the great thing. Look, that rolls over, but the rest of it rolls over. So none of them are touching each other or pressing anything. Look, oh, you see how well I treat my case. Look how mucky it is. Muck, muck, muck. But that's how long they've been in there. They've been washed in between. I've got, the I've got one that's got a bit of glitter on it. But we yeah, because that's one that. of mine as well. <laughs> they only came back into stock on Friday. Oh, did they? I've had to bring mine from home because we promised people we'd get them out, as, we'd get them back on as soon as we could.
They only came in on Friday, right. so I had to go home. No way could we get them from the warehouse and bring my two, so no. you've got one to show. Right. Uh, 701 544, that's 2795. It's got a five pound saving. You're going to get 10 brushes, plus you're going to get the, um, the actual roll. Is there any other options for that? Oh, there is one. Oh, yeah, but you can also get the inks as well. <laughs> Get the, uh, we'll put the details up for that. Um, and if you want to go just for the inks, you can do as well. That's the eight colours you see there, the pigment. Pearl ink pads, lots of peas. 1298-732-999, everybody. Right then, John, I'm going to have a long lie down in a dark room. Um, and... Um, OK, over to me. Over then. to you. Over right, to you. Okay. I'll just put these down before I drop So, them. what I'm going to do is, um, on the last show... I actually cut the plain butterfly from the ombre glitter paper from the 12 by 12. And so this time what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut from black the actual detail butterfly to go over the top. Now, I would always say it's genuinely worth cutting them like this in a row. Yeah? OK. Don't do them in... Don't sort of just try and get as many, you know, as few in this piece of card as you can. Right. Or as many in. Because, again, what I love is not wasting. No, no, no. Yeah. No. So, what I'm going to do is, we're going to run this through. I'm going to run it through my Kaleido. Now, I'm actually cutting here 320 GSM card, because that's what I got in plain black. We get a lot of questions about the Kaleido. Right. There is a post on the Crafting with John Next Door on Crafts 2 group sam has put a post out that says please put in comments your kaleido questions yeah and oh. he's going through and i'm going through and we're answering them personally and individually oh, okay. each question as they're placed so right. that's a far more efficient way right that's to good. do it and that's pop good. them on there and that way it also means that all that knowledge is shared with everybody else, because everyone can read what everyone's yeah, asked. Where can I find that again? So sorry? that's on Crafting with John Next Door on Crafts 2, which is the, our Facebook group. Right. Um, it's on there. You have to be a member. OK. And all that we ask is you just apply, you just say you wish to join, um, and you have to agree to the group rules. If you don't agree to the group rules and say, I agree, yeah. Sam will not let you in because we call it a safe space. That's fair. We have post approval and we don't actually allow people in if they don't agree to the rules because we don't allow any negative comments, any trolling, anything else. No. It is a safe crafting space. Great. You know, it's only about crafting. We don't, Perfect. you know, it's not we went shopping yesterday or anything like that. No. But that's in there and you can always have the option to private message me or Sam and we will always try and answer the questions for you. I've and got videos. a Facebook page if people want to go and tell me what they had for shopping. So. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's amazingly Scott fun. I love that. On her chander, let uh, me know. And, you, and pictures are welcome. I don't know if you've seen it, but on your, on, I know on my phone, I think that's on everyone's, if you flick to one side, the screen actually says to you um, what apps, suggested apps to open based on your time and location. Oh, OK. And mine always says, when I get up in the morning and I sit downstairs, Facebook. Oh. <laughs> it says, actually says Facebook and BBC News. Because I sit downstairs 20 minutes on my own, look through Facebook, see what everyone's been up to the night before. Oh, yeah, OK. And then I um, read the news. <laughs> By the way, just, just when you flick that then, this, this, this turned into the screen that we have between us. Yeah. A protective barrier then, because one of those, I could see it coming towards me, I blinked, and it actually... Oh, right, and it, it just hit, hit the, the it screen. It just hit the plastic, yeah. Sorry. So I just wanted to show, there's a lot of detail in here, but I used 350 card just to show the quality as well. And I never make things easy for myself. But you can see everything's cut through with one pass. Yeah, all right, lovely. Yeah. So I don't have to worry, even in the smaller ones. So I'm just going to pop these bits out. I'm really sorry, because this is not the most interesting. I should have had this already done. Okay, so don't I'll, forget, you're, you're with the master of boring. So I'll stop um, at this I'll, one. I'll take you through it. Cool. Have you, have you got any interesting facts? Oh, um, mm. That's a question. Because I, I have been told by Sam that I've got to stop saying... In, I got to our interesting fact number 300, and he went, look, please stop. Oh, well, you no, know, I'll tell you what like we why do. why cornflakes were invented and all sorts of I'll weird things. I'll tell you what we'll do is, because our lovely viewers... Where we've got a lot of viewers, by the way, from the States that are with us as well. A very good morning. Depends where you're... Morning, afternoon, evening, um, wherever you're working with us. Um, 
we've got the best, the best viewers, John. You know that. We and have. For we, your I know we have. Days, we do from have. the feedback um, we get. So, uh, if you could just email in, John, right now, your number one most interesting fact. You know, if you've ever done oh, a speed date... Oh, I'd love to yeah, know that. Whether it's the speed date, sometimes they go, do you know what, let me tell you this, or when you've got, like, you know, lift elevator pitch kind of thing as well, and you go, that one interesting fact that you go, this always, this always is a wow, right? They, they love this. Uh, it could be about anything, but, you know, that's... You know, you see, try, Marcus try, is I'm trying to put much, my director on. Marcus, our director, is very much like me, so he will have as many interesting facts as I have. We both need to know <sighs> We're how and why We're opening up a can of worms works. here. Uh, yeah. uh, OK, well, ask our director for one in a second. He says he's got a great one. I tell you what, give us a straight. Go on, then. Go on. Yep, here we go. And then we're going to come back to John. One of the people that was asked to do a screen test for the part of James Bond... In the 1960s, when they thought it was going to be Sean Connery, was Lord Lucan. I like that. Lord that is an Lucan. interesting fact. That is. Oh, hang on. He used to play poker with the producers for the James Bond film back there, and they thought he would make an excellent James Bond, but he didn't. So, listen, if you can beat that, you know you can. <laughs> if you can beat that amazing fact, it would help John... It would help Sam and it would help my director, in which case, help us all. Studio at Achanda.com. Um, just, uh, just most amazing, interesting fact, and we'll, we'll keep going. And if you've got questions also about anything else that you see on the show here, of course, do those as well. John? Yeah. OK, we've, right, we've, so I've, I've filled in lots of time there while you're doing that. But I want to show... So, we did. Sorry. You no, covered no, a load I've, for I've, me. I've done you proud. But I'm, I've just done three of the sizes, but there are four. Right. But this is what I absolutely love. So, I cut these out of the ombre glitter card. I've cut these out of black, but watch, they just fit exactly. Perfect. No rim, no edge. I can shape that and it fits absolutely perfectly. That, that black outline with the ombre behind that, really to me, great. really genuinely works and I absolutely love that. And again, everyone is different and I don't diss anyone that likes to have that different size, but to me, having that and it fitting absolutely perfectly is what I want. If yeah. you glue them on perfectly, obviously, which, you know, I'm messing up slightly. But they are designed to fit like that because that's what I like. Yeah. But even down to that smallest one with all yeah, that detail, perfect. you've still got the right scale and that Rene Macintosh look. But I did say cut them in a row. Yes. And the reason is this is the piece of waste or scrap, OK, okay that I've used. But what you do then is, I've trimmed it down, and that is the start of your next card. Ah, yes. Yeah, or... Um, the, these colour intensity is not coming over on screen. These are a lot brighter than they look. But again, look, that ombre there going down, that's yeah. the colour. Can you see that? Yeah. Don't waste that. Use yeah, that. Nice. So I would just put that on about there, stick it on, and there's the start of a bookmark or a tag or another card. Oh, yeah, card. great idea, yeah. Yeah, so don't waste it. And when you've got 12 by 12, you've got so much more. Yeah. I, I'm, just, yeah. I'm just a lover of 12 by 12. Yeah, well, <laughs> I know. I know, it's lovely. It's I know. Good. But they are beautiful. And I, I agree with John, actually. I, I mean, when I was trying to show the, the card at an angle to try and give you that, that intensity of colour, I know what you're, what you're talking about there. Uh, John, they are. They, they, they may feel quite soft they, or look quite soft on, on, on the image uh, that you get on the screen. I'm just trying to find some, but the, the actual colours, I don't know if you can sort of see again from that, but that is re it really is. Just trying to give a glimpse of the sort of the amount of colour that does come through. They are absolutely beautiful. So if you do want to go for these, honestly, if you, if you think they look great on screen, which they do, they're going to look even more amazing when you see these, actually. If you want to go for an extra pad to go with it, details at the bottom of your screen, 030633, just 14 99 We're getting 24 sheets here. That's four of each of your six designs. They are really beautiful. They are gorgeous. Um, by the way, individually, if you want to go for these, a third of the stock of the 12x12s has already been allocated. So a lot of people are adding it on to an order course and extending your flexi as well, um, if you want to, just make it out. I think it works out about an extra fiver. Extra £5 on your three payments on that one if you want to go for an extra pad uh, with a complete collection. Right, John. Crazy. Right, so what I'm going to do, I thought I'd use the stamp and butterfly die now. OK, I'm, yes. I'm going to do really simple background. So I'm taking my blending brushes, just as an excuse, really, so that Scott gets to pick one up and rub it on his head again, because oh, I, I know it, how much he loves doing it. I love it. It's Saturday night, why not? But if you can't do it on a Saturday <laughs> night, when can you? No, I'm just going on. 
and the, this is the sort of purpley colour. But these are pearlized, so these are pigments, so they blend and blend beautifully. But what I'm trying to achieve here is a cloudy look. What I don't want is a perfect, smooth, you know, that beautiful soft blend. I want it to look that little bit bitty. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, so I'm going you, straight down. While you're talking us through that, John. Yeah. I remember when we first brought these brushes on, and you explained that there was something about the bristle and the way they because as I'm as I'm running my finger down them, it, it's almost like they, they just sort of stop exactly. You get this, but I can't remember what the fact was you were saying. There's only about. so far, there's that many in there, there's only so far the ink will actually go and travel. Right, right. Because I think that may be it. There's so much intensity in there, you can actually push your thumb on it and it won't go to the bottom. No, no, you can't. You can't and that push be pushing it. right down. You, you, can you, sort of see you can't push right in like you can with a lot of tools. No. You can with a point. But even then, you're not getting to the bottom because there's that many bristles but packed like in. But you see, if, I, if, if you can see in the angle there, but that's as far as I can push that down. So is it because they are so compact in it's there that allows you to get It's because they're so compact that? and yeah. so fine, and that's what you need for the effective sort of soft blending. But I love this look. So this has got the pearlized. I seem to be into a pearlized ombre look at the minute. But I'm making pretty much, you know, a bit of a mess. Yeah? Mm -hmm. well, not I'm not intending to blend that, it, like not it. doing it smoothly. But we see there, but look, can you see the pearl finish? Yeah, yes, that's nice. That's lovely, that sheen. Just to show you, it's plain flat white card. Yeah. I've not cheated with like the mica card or anything. No, no. So that's it, really simple. Don't spend time trying to do this. Don't spend time trying to blend it exactly. You've got to think what, a, say, like a butterfly is how light and sort of airy it is. So I'm going to take the butterfly stamp from the One Day Special on there. I'm going to grab my smoke grey oh, okay. ink because I don't want an intense black against this. Right. Um, if I, to be honest, if, if the Kaleido <laughs> had have still been around, <laughs> I would have been doing this with the opalescent, the pearl um, foil. Oh, oh, OK, OK. But again, it works perfectly well with a grey ink. So I'm just going to go over, just like that, giving it a good press down. But can you see there? That's nice. How that looks? Yeah. Do you know what that completely you look has changed the look to the the, the, the uh, colours you had in the background before the image went over the top of that? Yeah. It seems like that's blended it. Always. It does. And basically, you've you've what it's done is it's actually. It, it's made it look intentional as if you've been very clever. Yeah. And you saw that I wasn't. I was literally just making a mess. <laughs> I was just using three colours of the pearl ink to do that. But what works even better on this, if I then cut this out, so I can leave that as it is, beautiful background. Yeah. Yep, Little yep. bow on it, perhaps just take. And what I could actually do is take one of the butterflies or two of them that I cut earlier. Right. Yeah, and just colour over the top using whatever's left on. So can you yeah, see you now I've got... There, do you? There's a pearl butterfly. No, it's flat white card. This is what I love about the pearl inks. Yes. Genuinely. You know, to have this... And I've, 12, and I've eight colours. Yeah, And yeah, my exactly. basics, black, white, silver, gold. But again, just a little bit on the edges. The white, when you use the white from it, is there any... Is there any special way in using that for the... Because I, I, nope. I would have thought of just... Just stamp it like you would do white. If you, if you go on Rewind, yeah. this morning's show at and Emily d 11? at 11 o'clock, then you'll actually see... Um, I spent a, a good sort of half an hour going through everything like that. Right. Stamped it in Great. white and things. But again, how fine these butterflies are, you can really simply... I'm going to take a paintbrush. Just bend the wings... How realistic yeah, you would do. And what I would do is, if you noticed, I used one brush for the blue and the purple. OK. And then I used one brush for the green. Right, oh, So okay. I tend Try to do, them. ideally, and at home, I tend to have one brush for each colour. Right, OK. To within a certain extent, sort of family almost. Right, I um, see. But I would say just try and keep one brush for each colour family. Right. Rather than for each individual. Oh, OK. Well, if you haven't got Peace. any, then you might want to go for this. 
I think we do them in a pack of 10 that you can go for as well. That also comes with a roll to keep them in, so that might be a good one. If you've got none of these and you want to follow John's advice on that, then this is probably the one you want to go for. That's 27 95 but that gives you the 10 brushes, uh, the large and the small brushes, but you're also going to get the storage case there. As it rolls, it keeps each one of those within their own little individual area. doesn't touch any other brushes. 701 Five double four, uh, John. Very quick, I'm going to let you know this because Irene's been in touch. So Sam will be interested in this as well. Irene, thank you for getting in touch. Uh, Irene says that her husband John uh, makes the best chips and egg. So right. that is a fact. Right, my Hashtag. father would be very happy with that. Yeah, that his is absolute. I, I've, I've got to be honest. No. 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 Oh. No, I don't know whether my dad... It's the only thing my dad could cook. And you don't know yourself. No. That's lasted, uh, is it? Yeah, and I... No, I, I, it's not me. Maybe you should pop round to... Uh, I'm, I'm, if you go round to Irene's... Yeah. If she asks, like, John might... Let, you know, I might be able to change your mind. You might be able mind. to change my mind, John. I love yeah. a, I love we'll a, have a, a, we'll a dippy egg, about dippy that. egg with a chip. You can't go wrong. Oh, no. Thank you. Thank you, no. Irene. Uh, and do you know what? Just that one fact has beat the James Bond one from my director. It so, has, um, yes. Already, yep. the bar has been risen. I, I'm really shocked that the Ginger Prince has not sent any in. <laughs> well, not yet, but the night is still young. It is, to be Don't fair. Don't forget, we've got 20 minutes left here, and we're back at 8 o'clock. And it's the same team, so we can carry it on. Oh, we can carry so it again, on. So, again, I've it just on. blend this. What I could do as well, I, I'm, with these inks, just to highlight it, because I don't like this... We're always talking about, you know, ooh, extra products. Yeah. Yeah. And I like products that do something that means I don't have to buy an extra product. So I've just shaped, I've colored that with a little bit of blue and a little bit of green, but I've got that beautiful pearlescent finish yeah, because nice. of the ink, yeah? yeah? And again, just plain white card, but you saw me make those. Take one of the smaller brushes and the gold ink, and I'm just gonna add a little bit of gold on the edge like it was a gilding wax. Oh, I see, Because yes. I use silver and gold pigment ink like gilding wax. Oh, you can dry nice brush idea. it on with a brush, but you see there now, get in the right place, there we go. Yes, it does, isn't it? Yeah, I've added gold onto that. So I all like I've done that. is um, put it through. Um, Jenny's been in touch as well regarding the brushes. Oh, could we wash the brushes? You can, not a problem. Well, what you do is, people say to me, how do you clean the brushes? What I do is, I, I personally walk into the kitchen and I put them in the sink. OK. And then, usually, magically, about an hour and a half, two hours later, they come back clean. Do they? That's yeah. a magic sink. Everybody needs a Sam. Um, oh. No, what you do is I have cleaned them myself. <laughs> Basically, <laughs> under the tap, when they get saturated, when you, if you want to take a colour off and change colour in you in the middle of crafting, get a cheap microfiber cloth. These are three for 99p plus a penny from the 99p plus a penny shop. Oh, I know the one. Yeah, you know yeah. the one. Yeah, yeah. S rub it on there. The microfiber really helps to clean it. Oh, OK. Or get yourself and use one of the Crafts 2 stamp cleaning mats. Right. And have one just for your brushes, because that's got thousands of microfiber oh, fibers oh, that will okay. help take it out. So that will work for cleaning in between colors, yeah? Right. So I'll now, I'll show you by going onto the white. Look. The white's not mucky. No, oh, no, it isn't, yeah. no. Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. But when you get too saturated, they want cleaning. Sink, tap, little drop of, um, I nearly said very liquid then, of <laughs> washing up liquid. <laughs> good job yeah. you didn't. Hey. It's a good job I didn't yeah. say that. Um, warm water, rub it through, you know, with your thumb. Yes. Then rinse it, get all of that out and leave it to dry naturally. Right. And that's all you need to do. I, I can see why have you do, if you do, you know, give a certain brush a designated colour, in the long term, I suppose, it is easier for time and all of those as well. But if you do need to, yeah. you can do that with these but brushes. Then, if they give them up, maybe it's a birthday once a year, they need a bit of a do it. Thank you, Jenny, for your question. Really useful. Thank but you. But that's been done in no time. I love it. And I've not stuck the butterflies on where they were. I've just put them in different places. Random places, yeah. But again, I think, to me, that looks as if I've spent a good hour or so working that's on that. That's really nice. And I haven't. And life's too short, to be honest. Well, I think a lot of things that come together in that demonstration itself, because we talked about just the colours themselves that we're going to get from the inks, which is absolutely beautiful. But, again, just look at the detail you've got there from that back 
I say a background stamp, I feel like it's doing it a disservice just calling it that, although in itself as a background stamp it's beautiful, but working collectively then with everything else you can cut from it that comes part of that one day special, really, really, really fantastic. Look, I, there's so much inspiration uh, that you can see here. We're going to show you some of the, the footage now again. This is going to give you an idea of what you can achieve. Just look closely on each of the images there to sort of find out. Now we know a bit more detail about how we can work with the Art Deco butterflies and the one day special. Just look at how cleverly these can be used used in some lovely finished pieces. Have a look, look at this. It's so lovely when you when you when you know that almost like the secrets that John has shared with us then about how we can do that because a lot of those if you'd seen those before knowing how to work with these tools you look at them and go wow how do you do that the wow factor that they have the beauty that they get and that's what people are if you're making this to send to somebody if you're making this to sell whatever it is that you're you're, you're working you know with with regards to these um, that wow factor is what people are going to see and they're going to get that but what you're teaching us here John which is lovely is that we can get that wow factor from actually just allowing the tools to do what they've been designed to do it's very they do the work they do the work yeah. that's the idea they yeah. do the work for you yeah. and i think that's the important thing yeah, yeah definitely um, you know let them do that work um, that's what I try and design the tools for. You know, at the end of the day, we're terrible as crafters for being... They say a bad, 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 a bad workman blames his tools. What do they say? Crafters, we <laughs> don't for some reason. We blame ourselves. Oh, right. Oh, okay. You know, yeah, and yeah, yeah. so it shows that we're not bad workmen. But sometimes we need to look at it. If we've got the right tools, then it will work. Right. You know, yeah. nothing I do is ever difficult. I am lazy. But I, I class myself, I always say, and I know this is not very woke, so I probably get shouted at, yeah. but I always say there's a difference between a male crafter and a female crafter in my friends, in that I want to get the same results, but I want it in 10% of the time. <laughs> right. Whereas Ange will spend three days on one card, that beautiful card with a frame. Yeah. Yeah. I want that in 10 minutes, so I design products to try and give me those, look, make me look good like in 10 that. minutes. That's because you want to sit on your phone and look at apps and then the BBC News one. Yeah, basically. Yeah, of course it is. Of yeah. course it is. Uh, by the way, we are getting lots and lots of facts, which is great. We are back at 8 o'clock, so we'll share these as they go through. Suzanne's been in touch with one of them and said, do you know, it's a fact that uh, a son is always taller than his mum. Can I you testify didn't know that, but I am taller than my mum, and so, that is saying something because I'm five foot in a fag butt, well, <laughs> as my friend always says. <laughs> wow, <it's good. laughs> I love it. Uh, can we answer a question from Sandy? Uh, she was asking about the brushes. Can we use the brushes with Mike and Magic? You can. Yes, oh, no problem. Be a little bit gentle, Sandy. What you'll find is. Um, the best ones to use, it's why we put these in this, there's no fillers in this. If you look at the original product that these were, I, I was going to say nicked from, and I don't mean that, <laughs> but developed from, you know, I'm not going to stand here, I always say this and pretend I've reinvented the wheel. No, I, I know. Haven't. I, I, these I, were something else before. We've changed the plastic, we've made them into our colour, we've made sure they work, but we picked the five sizes that we felt were the most useful. Right. Yeah? And so we took out what Haley said earlier this morning show. She said, you took out the filler ones that make it look better value that people throw in, you know, weird shapes and oh, tiny right, ones. Right, right. That's what these two are perfect for. These two small ones are perfect. That one is spot on for doing your highlights with your Mica Magic. And that's perfect for using your big areas with your Mica Magic. Don't go using your big brushes. You'll take half of it out of your palette. Oh, I see, yeah. Yeah, before you even lay it down. Use that one for your head. So use that one for your head, as, as Scott does. Use the two smaller ones. They're perfect for your Mica Magic. So just Great. use those ones and be a little bit gentle because you know how much is there, it'll really suck up the ink. Good question. Thank you very much there. That's really, really useful as well. And it gave me a chance to hold the brush. <laughs> <laughs> you like any excuse well, yeah. to, to exactly, hold the brush, Exactly, exactly. I don't need many excuses, but that's perfect. Uh, John, we've got around about 10 minutes. Right, OK, what so what I'm going next? to do now is this is... I'm going to use the, um, the abstract flower. Yeah? OK. So 
and I'm going to use first fine black. Now, what I'm using is this is a piece of paper that I made using the eyes ink sprays, and I made this piece on my first Let's Crack uh, Lofka's Crafts Two show. Oh, okay. Which was on will be on Rewind still. Right. But I think we've actually put them. Sam's had them put onto our YouTube channel for people. Oh, okay. Yeah, right. so it's the show I did. I think Sunday two weeks ago, right. which was all about techniques. So watch that on Rewind. You'll see exactly how to make this paper. Perfect. Lovely. And again, Thank I, you. I, you know, I, I do it for a reason. I actually thought if I do that, then, you know, basically, um, if I make that, if I do that, then I can use it on this show. And right. it, you know, so always thinking work. ahead. Yeah. Unfortunately, too far ahead. <laughs> I'm now sort of thinking about November, December. Well, you said Christmas that there's stuff done. to come. You've already got Christmas sorted. Yeah. So. When do we get it? When? when? Give us a teaser. When? Um, end of June, I oh, think. Okay. Beginning so of July. Thinking, yeah. yeah. Okay. I think it's Christmas beginning of July, something like Christmas that. Christmas in July. That sounds like an idea. It does, doesn't it? Mm. Uh, we've got some little facts for you, everybody. Just while uh, to, that is being stamped on. These are from who? Kaz. Oh, hi, Kaz. Very good evening. Butterflies. Butterflies have two hearts. Butterflies don't eat anything. I did know that one. Did you? Because they only usually live for a day to three days. Do they? So the caterpillars do all the eating, then they pupate, oh, go into the chrysalis. I see. The butterfly comes out, and the butterfly's job then is it's basically to mate and lay the caterpillars, and then it, it dies, and it starts again. What a Saturday that would be. And we've got one more. <laughs> Butterfly wings are transparent. Oh. There we are. Wow. So stamp this and cut them on vellum. Perfect. There you go. Oh, I love the way you link Then it would look that. even more real. That is good. Kaz, thank you very thank much you for those, indeed. Kaz. I'm loving that. Right, loving so that. I've just stamped this in black Versafine onto the card. Yeah. I like that. But again, that can you see there? You, that looks like a sort of daisy almost. Yes. Yeah. yeah. When I put this over, and there is only one way it fits, and you'll know if oh, it's okay. right. Look, that fits. That doesn't fit. Can you see? Yep. Yep. That way fits. Right. It's like so a puzzle you can't solves, get it wrong. It? Yeah, it is. It's a bit like that. Yeah. Um, what was it? The Genius Square. Yes. We had so much fun on Christmas Eve, Sam and I playing oh, that. Oh, I'm, I'm <laughs> championing really that did. house at the moment. I'm, I'm, I'm loving it. I'm... So, all I'm going to do is I'm going to cut that. Now, normally. I, I think I'm being told it. I've been told I got something wrong in my ear, aren't I? But that's the entire life cycle of a butterfly. What a day! It's eleven months. Is it? Yeah, from being the born. Old, I think the oldest, uh, old, oldest, longest living yeah. butterfly was eleven but months. But they don't live very long. That's no. what I always believe. No, I, no, it's not going to hang around. You so, spend most of the time as a caterpillar. Yeah. Could you imagine that? It'd be quite nice, wouldn't it? You spend sort of, you know, six months just not doing nothing but sitting on the sofa and eating ice cream. Yeah. Then you sleep for six months, and then when you wake up, you're beautiful. Oh, I'd love it. I've done two I, out of I've been I've trying, two out and three. it's not worked so far, <laughs> to be <laughs> honest. In the words of Meatloaf, two out of three ain't bad for yeah. me. I've just thought I'll wake up beautiful one day. That's yeah, exactly. It. <laughs> I've got to manage, I can manage the first two. I've done my lockdown, and I've done the eating. <laughs> so I've got then, but I've got all of these flowers out, which are really, really beautiful to me. But can well, you see how different they look? I need to give my glue a little bit of a shake. Well, what's lovely is you mentioned in our first hour um, we talked about this is because what John has, has done is he designed them in such a way that you can double up, just as he's done there now, uh, double those over as well. So you're going to get either a lot more singular individual ones, but then that work is done for you. If you want to double them up like you can see, that's all part of it. That's the clever thing. That's the time saving that John talked about, that he wants his tools to be able to achieve for you and, and this is great that you can do that with these yeah um, that's what i wanted was that you could you know you don't have to it, when something says cut it twice um you can um, you cut things twice it's boring you know if a recipe says take two pieces of card cut this twice you know <laughs> uh, i've got to be really in the mood to do that and i do yeah. do it i do it myself but on most of the time i like to try and arrange things yeah. that you, you can get away with just doing one so one stamp one cut will give us seven flowers which is brilliant so just while you're uh, going, <laughs> yeah. going through that i'll just uh, fill a bit of time uh, this is the equivalent of Muzak in a lift while you're <laughs> travelling up. Uh, a beagle can actually discover where uh, chocolate was stashed in a in a craft in a what <laughs> in a craft cave <laughs> months after it was eaten. 
I mean, basically, yeah. I my I'm gonna, where I'm I I work is called the Craft Cave. Oh, I see. And Paul and Elaine, the Ginger Prince, and his wife brought their beagles up, came oh, to see God, us, yeah. and they came into the Craft Cave. And Dexter, I think it was Dexter, one of their <laughs> the the boy was now literally sniffing sense. around and managed to find the wrappers from like Reese's that I'd been eating months oh. and months before. Bless oh, him. I see. Now that makes sense. Now we now we've added a bit more detail onto that message. That makes sense that makes to sense people. To me yeah. Now. Thank you. So, That's good. Or oh, another another fact as well. Oh, uh, he now needs more stories due to all of his John Next Door products that he's now got. Sorry, but his wife said apparently would not have it any other way. Oh, so uh, there's a marriage. I, I, I never know what to say. That's that matches. Yeah, that's, that's really good actually. With Paul and Elaine, Paul does all the die cutting. And Elaine makes the cards up. That sounds like a good deal. So yeah, I thought that was really good. I so like he does all the die line. cutting and things for her. Mm. So all I've done here is I've taken another piece of that card. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. But I've just stamped and I get look that as a background. That's great. That's what I mean. It's not it's not wasted, it's not useful. So saving card, I've used one piece, I've cut the middle out, made a frame. Yeah? Yep. That's the middle piece from the frame. Yeah? Got you. So all I'm going to do now is just glue this together. But uh, it's just using is... one piece of card. But you could do exactly the same as this yeah. using the ombre glitter card, one piece. Oh, Cut yeah, out. Okay. Now, if you're using the ombre glitter card, because it has a coating, if you're stamping on it, you want to use a stays in place or a stays on ink. Right. Because it has got a coating, it's got a foil coating on it. So please don't stamp oh, okay. with a normal VersaFine. And you, you'll be waiting for it to dry for quite a while. Um, but I did a show with the um, Couture Creation Stays in Place, I think, on Wednesday. And I know that Paula's got a show at 7 o'clock tonight with, I think she might have the Stays on on or similar. Right. So, you know, you know ask, ask the expert on that one. But that's what you want to use. Um, Paula might, if, I'm, if I smile at her nicely, she might actually try stamping on, with, um, on some of the glitter paper. Because um, in her show and show you that. So, but that, that's but at seven o'clock. Yeah, so I could do this exactly away. the same. So there I've got that back. I love that background. I really like that. As a stamp, to think I've got that with all of this is uh, just... I just want to add on to that because I know we spent a lot of time talking about the butterflies that are part of that. So oh, that's only one half of the one day special. This is the part of the background stamp plus again the same idea as if you can cut out the butterflies. You do that exactly with the floral. And do you know what? I know we're just seeing that one working a bit more there with, with the flowers. But I'm now torn because I, lo I really love the, the text and the butterfly one. But this one, I'm really like, again, as a background one, it's absolutely beautiful. But when you bring the flowers out, it's a really lovely it, it, piece, it, this. To me, it is one of those that, when, it, when I came up with it and it worked, I didn't say it in terms of, like, selling or anything. I, I, said, I said, oh, to me, this is a game changer. But in terms of, to me, oh, this is going to make my life so much easier. Yeah, yeah. You know, I absolutely love that. So that is actually made with one product. So yes, nice. I've used... Um, the, you know, square dies to do the frames and things, but I know people yeah. have those. Yeah. We're not trying to put those on, but that is literally one stamp and one die has made all of that. That is really, really lovely. Uh, and we've got piece. the background and the flowers all done together in one. Yeah, no, uh, honestly, fantastic, really good. Just another great way, as you can see, that John is, has demonstrated for us here, you know, what you're going to be able to get, re-maximise your one-day special, uh, or if you're going to go for the complete collection, which so many people are doing, uh, there is so much that's, that's in there. Do, do take advantage, because it is absolutely brilliant. And just want to, I've got, we've only got a couple of minutes left, um, but just want to show some, I know we just looked at some of those with the florals, but just want to show you again a couple that have been done with the butterflies, for example, in there, and I would, We'll show more. Uh, this is uh, the little people has been done here. I'm loving this with all the because each butterfly is a different uh, design that you go to see, which is absolutely fantastic. So each one slightly different. So when it works like that and coloured differently, you get a lovely collection. But just look at this for some beautiful packaging uh, that's been put together with that. That is absolutely stunning. And again, really. The lovely thing is, John, you've got those back you've got the back pieces to go with the butterflies. You can use them on the cards and that's but you can have all the filigree and the detail that's on there. We'll just turn that right the right way around there. We've got the dream. Um, that says that's also part of uh, one of the elements you're going to get. But it is so, so nice. And this one is stunning that's coming up here again with that larger one that's cut through. This is Barbara uh, that's done this. 
Um, but again, really beautiful, John. They're stunning, it, it, aren't they? They're just gorgeous. The, the design team, or I don't call them a design team. They are my angels. Yes, I don't like yes. the phrase design team. They're no. angels because they help me. They are my angels and go, I can't cope. I can't do everything myself. And they help me. And they yeah, are absolute angels. And they, they do it. And I know we say it every show, but, you know, I know with the collection, when they really love it, when I get boxes and boxes, the set is full. There's bunting back there. That bunting is all butterfly bunting made with it. All of these wreaths, and there's still boxes down oh, there full yes, of them. Yes, we've got more to look at. Yeah, more, it doesn't more, stop. More and to look this at. is, I've just done this quickly. This is the waste piece that I've just cut the flowers from. So I'm not wasting that, that's using the bottom of that. So when you tie them together, everything on this has all been done. Um, but I think I'd better go back to you, Scott, because I think we've got about 20 seconds we left. Have, right, about 20 seconds. That's all we have, um, which is phenomenal. So I've got time to change my batteries because we talk back. We talk back, Scott. Uh, but that's OK. Um, listen, it's been, I've loved the last hour and I've loved the two hours that we've had, uh, which is actually I've really enjoyed as well. Shall but, we do it again at 8 o'clock? Do you know what? That sounds like a definite time. I, I think that'll be. I think we'll make that a date because well, I think we've got about 20 better, seconds left. Even better is if we put between us Paula coming up next. After if we that. have Paula coming up next, that would even be better. That's and I think you're going to see Pat. Well, I think we're going to finish in about five seconds. That's perfect. But then I think it's going to be Paula at seven o'clock. Well worth a watch. He's very good at that. We'll see you very, very soon. Paula's up after this.